Welcome back to the channel everyone and I hope everybody is doing great and keeping safe. Today we are going to talk about a topic which is really near and dear to me. It's about getting invitation to apply for my brother uh, under express entry in Canadian experience class uh, in less than 24 hours. Uh, you may be surprised to know that that's possible. In today's video we're going to show you how. So stay tuned. All right, so before we get on with the video, I want you to go hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, the reason is Facebook's algorithm. The more likes uh, it sees on the video, it realizes that this is good information which should be shared with other people. So go like it and it will be shared with the people who are looking for this information. Let's get on with the video now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now you can see my uh, brother's profile on uh, the screen. Uh, that's his uh, GIC key. So for obviously safety reasons, we're not going to show his uh, account ID or his application number. Um, but you can see that uh, we submitted the profile on September 30th, 2020, and it, it's going to stay active for another year. So September 30, 2021. Um, if you look at the dates, September 30th was Wednesday. But we submitted the uh, the application on the 29th, which is Tuesday. And uh, if you are aware, uh, Immigration Canada, they pull up the, these accounts from Express Entry Profile every two weeks on Wednesday. So last Wednesday, uh, they made uh, uh, the, uh, they sent these applications out. So if you see the minimum en entry criteria on September 30, you met the minimum entry criteria. If you are not aware of the uh, minimum criteria for Canadian experience class, it is that you have to be present in Canada. You uh, need to study at a Canadian designated learning institute for at least two years. And then you need to have at least uh, one year of full time experience in um, any NOC 0A or B categories or you need to have two years of uh, part-time experience, work experience which will equate to um, a one year full-time experience. So in my brother's situation he was working for two years part-time and that made him eligible. And on September 30 itself they uh, pulled out uh, the candidates who had uh, who met the CRS scores and they sent them the ITA and it was a shock for us that we we submitted it uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday we were able to get the the ITA so let's go over uh, the the page a little bit more you will see that it they, they're asking or they're showing the information on uh, the eligibility and he met the criteria for Canadian experience class so his score overall was 516 and we're going to go over some details on how he was able to get to 516 scores uh, at the moment i believe the cutoff was 500, uh, 472 and for human capital age he's uh, 25 years of uh, age so he got 110 scores level of education he's a bachelor's in uh, electronics uh, engineering uh, so he got 128 uh, human capital first official language proficiency so he got CLB 9 I believe so he got uh, 122 scores for that human capital Canadian work experience so he worked uh, two years part-time so he got 53 points for that uh, he obviously he's not married yet so no points for spouse skills transferability for education uh, he got his uh, education credentials assessment from west so you have 50 points for that for uh, foreign work experience uh, he worked uh, in india for two years before he coming here uh, so you got 38 points for that and uh, lastly he got 15 points for uh, having his brother which is me as a canadian uh, citizen here so this is a very simple explanation of how this account looks like so to get to these points let's uh, dig in a little deeper um, your age is one of the major criteria so if you are planning to come to canada and you want to be um, eligible for uh, canadian experience class uh, after studying here and working here for quite some time so you gotta make that move uh, as sooner as you possibly can so don't wait if you if you are a graduate from india do not wait for 
a few years uh, before you before you um, work in India for like five or six years and then you plan on coming to Canada because it becomes a little difficult as your age goes up your scores goes up uh, for level of educations obviously majority of the people who are coming from uh, India or other countries uh, at least they, they are graduate so at, for a graduation level you get 128 points if you're masters um, in education obviously your age scores will go down a little but you may end up making up those points in education at the same time so for official language the more points in IELTS or uh, CELPIP the better I'm actually going to make uh, another video on CELPIP because I, I wrote the test myself and I was able to score 12 each in uh, reading and writing and 10 each in listening and speaking so I'll give you some tips on how to score both marks uh, in language to uh, get your points up high so the other is uh, Canadian work experience. This is very important to note that if you want to apply in Express Entry under Canadian Experience class, your work experience has to be under NOC 0A or B categories. So have a look at uh, the NOC categories and make sure that uh, the work you're doing is uh, relevant to the education you have in Canada because sometimes that end up becoming a problem as well. And for transferability, make sure that whatever education you have from another country, um, get it uh, certified or get an equivalency certificate from VES. In my brother's case, uh, since he uh, had a Bachelor's of Technology from India, VES gave uh, him an equivalency of Bachelor's in Canada. Foreign work experience. This is another important thing is that if you are coming to Canada here and uh, you have worked in another country before, get all your experience certificates, pay slips, because we're going to need that uh, those uh, documents to prove to Immigration Canada that yes, we did uh, have education outside from uh, another country. So that is about it, my uh, dear friends. So I'm going to uh, make another video on where my brother got his education from, that's Centennial College. So very soon you're, we're going to show you around what that college looks like and what are the courses uh, which you can actually do from that college and uh, how to get to that place or not. All right, everyone. So this is uh, it for today's video. If you like the content, if you uh, figured out how Express Entry works uh, for Canadian Experience class and how getting enough uh, CRS scores can get you an uh, invitation to apply in less than 24 hours. So please go hit the like button. And um, if you have any immigration uh, question regarding Express Entry, CES, uh, Canadian Experience class, um, Please write it down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer uh, to the best of my abilities. But keep in mind that I'm not an immigration consultant. So if uh, you have any such questions, let me know. I have a, a few of uh, the really good immigration con consultants in my touch and I'll be more than happy to pass on their information to you or your information to them so you can benefit from whatever learned uh, in the last year or so. So thank you very much for watching the video and uh, stay safe, please.